Hey everyone, John here, and if you've ever thought about creatively fixing a hole in a garment using your embroidery machine, you're going to want to stay tuned. So here's how this story goes. James, my son, brought me his favorite pair of swimming shorts, and he surfs in these all the time, and there is a little hole right in through the pocket there. I can actually poke my finger through it. And of course, I'm an embroiderer and a digitizer, so I would know how to fix a hole on a garment. Not, I cannot sew a thing, but I'm gonna use my camera, my digitizing software, and my embroidery machine, and we'll see if we can figure out a creative way to fix this little problem. So first, let me show you the tools for the job. I'm gonna need my cell phone, and I'm gonna take a picture of these shorts. I'm gonna find one of the patterns in here that I really like, and I'm gonna use that as a backdrop in my digitizing software so that I can create something that kinda of looks like it was supposed to be there in the first place. Now, I'm gonna use my small hoop because it did actually happen inside of the pocket, so I wanna make sure that I can fit this inside of the pocket, and I'm going to use a little piece of twill, and I tried to find a twill that would kind to match one of the two colors within this garment and we're going to place that underneath the hole while we hoop it and then we're going to stitch over top of it so let's bring this into the software and see what we came up with so here is the section of the design that I decided to duplicate. So I just took a picture with my cell phone, brought it into the software, resized it to the size that I wanted so I knew it would fit into that small hoop. And this is what I came up with when I actually ended up digitizing. I'm gonna get rid of the backdrop just so that we can see it here. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do a slow redraw. This is actually a very loose fill that has a jagged edge on both sides. So what you're gonna end up having is a fill going at one angle and then another fill crossing over at the second angle so that way you end up getting that little kind of cross hatch but you'll still see the fabric behind it it will make the hole disappear and then when I zoom in here and I'm going to zoom in I just actually used my back stitch and when I use my back stitch and if we look at this again it does the first one does the second one that's the two fills going down, and then I have this back stitch going down, recreating the design. Now this is gonna be bigger than all the other elements, and it should look pretty cool when it's done. So let's run that on the machine and see how it looks. sample is done and James really has no clue what I've done exactly but these are your favorite pair of shorts we will verify that right James oh yeah and I was really upset that I had a tear in them so so anyways I ended up repairing it and if you want to see the oh, results nice. cheers so it looks pretty cool I think it's like another face in the crowd but yeah. I think you can wear those again right oh yeah that looks awesome I'm really impressed quick little digitizing job, a little bit of uh, tweaking with the piece of uh, poly twill and stabilizer and it's an easy fix. So enjoy those and if you put more holes in, I still have the file. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> See you later guys.